بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم قال سبحانه هو الذي خلق لكم ما في الأرض جميعا ثم استوى إلى السماء فسواهن سبع سماوات وهو بكل شيء عليم الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم هو الذي خلق لهم خلق هو الذي خلق ما في الأرض جميعا that he is the one who created what is in the earth all of it Jami'an, that, that affirms that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the heavens and earth and he created all things. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Thumma stoa ila sama. Then he rose above the heavens that affirms for us al istawa the attribute of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he rose above his throne he rose over his 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 creation subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that suits his majesty tabarak wa ta'ala we don't know the kayfi of it but we know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala istawa ala arsh as allah mentions in another ayah or in seven places in the Quran, Ar Rahman al al Arsh Istawa. That Ar Rahman, the most merciful, rose above his throne. So we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his creation, Tabaraka wa ta'ala, in a manner that suits his majesty, Tabaraka wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the same ayat, then he ro then he rose over the heaven and he made them seven heavens. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wuhu ala kulishain kadi uh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he has knowledge over of all things. Letting us know that none of this was created out of jest, out of out of as mere play and a joke. And that it is here to remind us, to provide for us, that we, we seek sustenance here. We live here. We do righteous deeds here. But all of it is really for the Akhirah. All of it is for the, the next life. That will be rewarded and punished there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has full knowledge over all that we have done and all that we will do. And all that would perhaps could have happened. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, also in the Qur'an, لَيْسَ كَمِتْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ سَمِيُّ بَصِيرٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is nothing like him, or that resembles him. لَيْسَ كَمِتْلِهِ شَيْءٌ Nothing makes resemblance, has any resemblance to Allah, nor does his creatures have resemblance to him. At the same time, هُوَ سَمِيُّ بَصِيرٌ that he is the all hearing and the all seeing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has those attributes like knowledge and he sees and he hears. But his creation is not like the attributes we contain that we possess are not like his attributes. 
there's a difference. You cannot make a comparison between the Chalik wa Makhluk, between the Creator and the created. His knowledge is infinite and perfect. His hearing is perfect and infinite, as well as his seeing. But ours is limited. We can't see behind that mountain. We can't even see the details on that mountain. We don't know who's on that mountain. Whereas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees the ants and all the creatures contained therein. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who worship him and him alone. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.